the morning of the second day here at this new construction home that we started yesterday. You see we're starting on the top middle deck now where we had our wall issue yesterday. And we got the robot running here to weld the seams. We also finished this deck below me here as much as we could. Uh, we have to leave the last portion right here open because they still have to pass a sheathing inspection that uh, the inspector's coming for today. So you can see the deal behind me here is finishing the cuts for the drains so that we can drop all the drains in for the plumber. And here we go, we're welding with the robot as we go. So we're putting the reverse uh, shield solo down, the TPO, see plates and screws. And then right behind, we come back and weld the robot. see behind me here that they're fixing the concrete that I pointed out yesterday on day one where the concrete was lower than the plywood so they're fixing this concrete here and they're sloping it so that it'll run down to the drain right now on the second day you see we're cutting some more trains down on one of the lower decks right now and behind me we completed the TPO on the wood section of the highest deck the concrete we still need to do the fleece back but it's a little windy today we don't want our adhesive to spray all over the place so we did not do the uh, fleece back yet only the mechanically attached on the wood section and we're only doing the fields right now. We're gonna come back and do the details after. You see the guys are behind me now, starting on the biggest deck. It's the second highest deck. It's the largest one out of all the decks. So they're behind me right now, on that section. About to be lunchtime. You can see, we got that whole upper roof done so far today. And this section. So by the end of the day, I'm sure we'll have the whole top of the cover. Pretty good day so far. The perimeter here is five foot sheets because high velocity hurricane zone code says that you need to have your fasteners on the perimeters every five feet. So we've got five foot sheet, five foot sheet. It's a little hard to tell because everything's so white. But you can see here in the middle of the room standard tempo roll the TPO that you see on like commercial warehouses and stuff like that. Um, because we're gonna have a perimeter sheet all the way here at the end on the concrete coping cap right here. We're gonna have a fleece back uh, TPO rather than mechanically attached. So it's gonna come from here all the way here. So that's already gonna get us five foot on the perimeter right there. So we have our 10 foot lines coming up this way, uh, which means less seams and also less potential for leak. Hey guys, it's about uh, 2.30 now today. So we got all this done. This whole side behind me is done. Down there, we're leaving this section until we can pass our, their, their sheeting inspection. Down there, you can see him doing the concrete to fix the leveling. And we've got those sections done over there. So 
my guess is is by day four we'll have all the field areas done on this whole roof and we'll just have details to go. Hey, today's the third day. It's about lunchtime now, the third day, an hour before lunchtime. You see behind me, we've got the guys. They're working on details today. So, these are concrete walls over here. We have some wood and some concrete walls on the concrete sections. They have to glue the TPO down to the concrete. Uh, we have the bare back for the glue, but then also where I'm standing here, this is where we're going to use our police bag TPO, where we're going to do the adhesive. So these guys, they're going around the walls here, going down the TPO, and then they're going to let it overhang. All behind me over here, the carpenters are doing the 1x2 wood nailer for the drip metal. You put the wood nailer at the end of the wall. I'll show you in another video or in a different uh, scene here. But you put the wood nailer right here with tap cons into the wall so that your drip edge is going to overhang and shoot the water away from the structure of the building. So the drip edge or the uh, wood nailer kind of just helps push the water further out away from the building. We got about an hour left here on uh, day three before it's time to pack up and go home. Uh, it is Friday. We will be back on Saturday to continue with the details and get us ready for uh, hopefully to finish by the end of next week. So I'll take you on a quick little tour here so you can see kind of what we're doing today. You can see we're finishing wrapping up the walls and boxing in this upper room here. Got the guys behind me doing this wall detail piece. So kind of show you what it's looking like. You see behind me what they're doing. Behind me. You see we box this in. The TPO. To protect the wood. Very nice. And on the sides too. Up until we hit the concrete wall right there where they're going to stucco over. See the guys behind me? They cut this piece right here to put on this wall. So that's the detail piece for this wall. And that's what it looks like as they're putting it on. They're going to glue that down. There's the glue behind me. And here's what it looks like before it's welded. So you see that seam is over and now it hasn't been welded yet. It's only been glued down. So they're going to gluing it on first and then after come back and weld it to the field sheets. And the guys behind me there are installing the wood nailer around the perimeter. They're the carpenters at this uh, particular house. So they're doing the wood nailer around the perimeter for our drip metal. And uh, so that's what we got going on up here on the upper roof. Over here on the concrete cap, we have not started the fleece back yet because we want the inspector to see as we're putting the fleece back on. Usually they like to See the foam being sprayed to make sure that you're using the correct amount of everything. And over here, we've got a wood nailer, the TPO flapped over, and then down there we're finishing that lower deck. And up. So we counted up the squares. We've only worked three days so far. And we have, right now, over 95 squares of field done, which we have categorized as about 65% of the roof. So we're about 65% of the way done at this point, after three days on a 108 square roof with eight different roof decks.